everybody. Welcome to the Evangelist Nick Garrett channel, Truth First Christianity. And today we're talking about a very simple topic with a short chapter from Eusebius, book two. It is chapter eight, and it deals with a famine that occurred. And I simply want to use this to illustrate a couple things. One, Eusebius is telling us about a famine. The book of Acts tells us about this same famine. Josephus, Tacitus, tell us about this same famine. They also tell us about the rise of a new emperor. After Tiberius, during the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ, the immediate four-year period after, we see the rise of the emperor Caius. We see the beginning of Roman iconography making its way into Jewish temples. We see the Romans begin to really oppress the Jewish people. They're angry at the Jews, in part because... Jesus rose from the dead and, as a result, began a movement that started spreading everywhere. This famine, though, gives us something very interesting. It proves that there were letters and writings circulating among the major cities inside the Christian movement. Because for the first time in Christian history, we see one church in a major Christian city send aid to help a major Christian church in another city. International missions work? Can we say it's the first example of international missions? Can we say it's the first time in Christianity we see a relief package sent? Let's check it out. In chapter 8 of Eusebius's church history, this is in book 2. The famine which took place during the reign of Claudius. Caius had held power not quite four years when he was succeeded by the emperor Claudius. Under him, the world was visited with famine. Which writers that are entire strangers to the religion have recorded in their histories. And thus, the prediction of Agabus recorded in the Acts of the Apostles according to which the whole world was to be visited by a famine, received its fulfillment. Now, let's grant Eusebius a little bit of leeway here, because we don't know that he's talking about the entire world. Maybe he meant the known world. To him, every area where letters went could have been the world. They could have been unaware of tribal peoples or even advanced civilizations on other continents. So I don't mind a little bit of leeway there. And Luke, in the Acts, after mentioning the famine in the time of Claudius, and stating that the brethren of Antioch, each according to his ability, sent to the brethren of Judea by the hands of Paul and Barnabas, adds the following account. So Paul and Barnabas took aid to the people in Judea from Antioch. There it is. Plain and simple. I hope you enjoyed that. I certainly did enjoy reading it and uh, enjoying the realization that it tells us that writings certainly were circulating and that once again, our church history is backed up by world history. God bless you, friends. Have a good day. If you want to purchase a book of mine, visit uh, Amazon.com slash author slash Nicholas Garrett. You can also visit our Teespring store and get a shirt or a mug or something simple like that. I encourage you to watch our playlist on the church history of Eusebius of Nicomedia. Uh, normally our videos are much more in-depth. This one is just a short, quick one to say hi and kind of let you know something cool about the famine that occurred, uh, as mentioned in the book of Acts. You can also support us via PayPal, dollar or two, anything helps, uh, and it gets reinvested into our work, and I use what's left over to feed my children. Pretty noble effort there. God bless you, and may your work today bear fruit. Thanks.